Welcome to YC on the Street, where we'll be talking to people about the MTA and how they feel about the current state of it. What do you think about the price of the subways? Do you think it's fair? Nah, not at all. Honestly, I feel like the, the price shouldn't be going up if the service is getting worse. If there's still delays and it's still garbage on the tracks and still little fires and you're still stopping in between stops every three stops, then it, you know you shouldn't be charging anymore. I wish if they were doing more things to fix the issues that are happening with the money, I guess I would be okay with it. But at this point, like people are getting injured, things are derailing and nothing is better, mm -hmm. and they're charging us more money, so what do you... What do you get out of it, you know? No, and they're trying to hike it or hurt. It's not, I don't think it's fair. Because, you know, sometimes the, the um, one train, the one bus takes a really, really long time to come. Like, we waiting here for like a half an hour. I think in general, the system is quite good. I mean, you don't have to wait mm -hmm. for a long time. And sometimes it's not, the, the service is not disrupted. So, especially on rush hours. So I think it's a fair price. Oh, you think yeah, it's a fair yeah. price? I mean, as long as the money is going to the right place, I don't mind paying what we pay to get on the subway. It's really just when allocations of funds go to things like, I don't know, relocating all the people on the G train, when they could have been doing that business, like, could have been doing that work forever and then just didn't do it and spent all that extra money to move people so they could do the work they could do before the L train was ready. What is your worst, your worst experience at the subway? Somebody was jerking on the on the platform. Whoa! My worst experience on the subway. I have a lot. My favorite worst experience is getting thrown up on by a drunk person New Year's. No lie, true story. My worst subway experience is probably just getting trapped in one for like a half an hour and just, you know, not knowing what's going on. I know how you feel. <laughs> I know how you Since we're asking you about buses, what is your worst bus experience? The one bus. <laughs> Just the one bus in general? The one bus, the worst, yes. It takes a really long time to come. A really long time. Oh gosh, I think my worst experience is probably rush hour. Um, we have an office on the east side on East 87th and going from downtown in the financial district up there in rush hour is a joke because you can't move. I mean, you might wait like three or four trains just to get on and go up there. And the ride is pretty long at that point, it's like half an hour. What is your message to the MTA? My message will be try to keep clean the yeah. system because it's horrible. Yes. I think it's an urgent uh, maintenance, but yeah, it has been due for years and it's really bad. It really worries me every time I go to the subway, I have to really wash not touch nothing. nothing. Yeah. As soon as I get home, I wash my hands and also I say that to my kids. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I would say get their schedule together, you know, try to be more on time, be considerate, you know, because people, people out here by themselves in the dark and things is happening, these, you know, the streets is really, really, really bad. So, you know, they need to get their schedule together and be on time. Yeah, just do the job that we're paying you for and, and you know, keep up with the daily work that's really important because the little things can add up to a lot and be a waste of money and be a waste of resources and I think it's really important that if people are doing getting their ducks in a row and just doing the little things then all those big things will take care of themselves. Uh, I, just, I just you know I wish at some point you'd recognize sort of like you get what you put into it right mm -hmm. recognize the importance of it to the city and the people I mean basically everyone's going to work every day right they're making yes. money for themselves for the city they're paying taxes and if their main mode of transportation to get there is messed up what does the city have? You don't have the workers, you don't have the money, you don't have anything. So I think it's really time for someone to sit back and make it a priority versus like a side project that will be done by 2050, you know? Mm -hmm.